So we see the baby is now ready to be born, but there is still a significant CCAM present, still a significant mass present. So uh, there is no need to do a special kind of delivery. It can be a normal vaginal delivery. Um, there is no need to do a cesarean section. Um, what is important is that the baby is born in a center that is experienced in the management of babies with surgical lung disease. So there would need to be an experienced pediatric surgeon available and an experienced neonatal team available. Um, in general, this is not an emergency that needs to be dealt with at two o'clock in the morning. So one would stabilize the baby, take the baby back to an intensive care unit, take the appropriate x-rays, and learn from the baby how much respiratory distress this mass in the chest is occurring. That can range from mild to very severe. Um, if it's very severe, then in general, it won't resolve until the mass is removed. And so that would require a surgical procedure, a thoracotomy, where there's an incision made, the ribs are opened up a little bit, and the, the CCAM is isolated and then surgically removed. And then the surrounding lung will expand to take up the space made by the CCAM. Although babies can be very sick in that scenario, the overall survival rate is very good. And the babies who survive the surgery, which we would uh, expect to be the vast majority, almost all, uh, will go on and have minimal long-term respiratory problems. The lung has an amazing ability to compensate. We're all endowed with more lung tissue than we really need. And as long as the rest of the lung has developed fairly normally, um, a very sick baby can be turned into a very healthy baby quite successfully.